We will talk right now about a very important verse in the Quran, and I think most of you heard about it. This is Surah 4, verse 34, the one ordering men that they can beat their wives. If they suspect them that they are, might disobey. So we will start from the beginning, and we will see the Quran saying the following. Men are the protectors and the maintainers and maintainers of women. So Allah is making things very clear. Men are the one who protect the women. And they are the one who maintain them. So they are in charge of that. And what else? Now Allah is explaining why. Because Allah has given the one more strength than the other. So the reason of that, because Allah He gave the man more strong strength from the women <clears throat> and what else and because they support from their means and because they pay money and spend money over the women so Allah is giving them the charge too so there is two reason number one because they are strong they have muscles number two because they have the money now uh, Muhammad himself he did marry Khadija and he used to work for her and she was in charge she was his boss and Muhammad he used to make living out of the money of Khadija she is the one she is feeding him does that mean that Khadija she was the protectors and the maintainer of Muhammad because she have the money question and you know if the man he spend money over his house what a big deal even birds they feed their kids the women she is not sitting in your house doing nothing you are not doing a favor for her by giving her food and by spending money in the house you are doing your part she is doing her part Actually, the women's job is a lot harder. And you know, these days, women, they are making money, and some of them even, they are making more than their husband. So, making money cannot be a reason that you will be the maintainer of the house, or you will be the one in charge. And having muscles, not all men, they are stronger than women. And there is a lot of men these days, they are gays even. Which means men, they can be like females. They are unnormal. So being a male will not make you better than anyone. Having a male private part will not make you better than anyone. But I hope the case will stop in there. No. We go down and we'll see that Allah is saying that if you and those women, as do those women who was part of fear, disloyalty, and ill conduct. So if those women you fear their loyalty, and uh, ill uh, conduct uh, you fear and uh, be careful in here you fear it's mean they are not doing anything bad yet but you have the fear so suspect them you have you are suspicion about them this is giving you the right to do the following first you admonish them you talk to them well I like this one there's no problem with this one next you stop having sex with them stop sharing bed and somebody will say, well, this is not a punishment really. It's a punishment for the man more than the woman. The fact, no. Because the Muslim man, he has four wives. If he stop having sex with one of them, what a big deal. He has still three left. If you have tire in your car, uh, uh, in the trunk, and you have four tires in the wheels, you don't think about a tire in the trunk until you have a flat tire. So she can be just a spare tire for a while. And it's up to him to decide when he will remember her. So it's a very bad punishment to her. And you know what? If a woman, her husband is not sleeping with her for long, maybe she will go and do something bad. Because women, they need sex too, not only men. So what kind of punishment might cause the women to do adultery? And think about sin. If you don't want her, let her go. Divorce her. Not jail her in her house, in her room. And by the way, in the Quran it says, 
it's not only uh, you know leaving them in their beds no it is jailing them in their rooms so you jail her in her room and you stop sleeping with her this is can make uh, and cause big uh, depression for the women and what is next after that Allah saying and last beat them lightly now the Quran is in front of me and this is the verse as you see doesn't say one word it's like lightly what is lightly I want to see lightly what is lightly from where Muslims they get the word lightly I'm just trying to get to know how Muslims they get uh, 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 those words this is this is the Quran look with me okay فَعُزُوهُنْ وَهْجُرُوهُنَّ فِي الْمَضَاجِعَ وَضْرُبُوهُنْ وَضْرُبُوهُنْ where is the lightly it's not there so Muslims are not honest even when they translate the Quran and this is something we used to it this is why always I say I don't approve any Islamic translation I take it just to show from their book how they uh, uh, lie about it not because I approve it so if we go down now the Quran saying beat them but there is no lightly we prove this one and just to show everyone that we don't explain the Quran up to us we don't and we will not let us go to Ibn Kathir explanation and we will see if really the Quran saying beat them lightly or not now this is a woman she came to the Prophet she was complaining about her husband because he did beat her in her face <clears throat> here we go uh, in Ibn Kathir he's saying uh, a woman she came to the Prophet complaining about her husband Tashku Tashku which means she complained about her husband beating her Tashku Zawjaha and Latamaha which means he did box her in her face this guy is boxer you know Latamaha it's not only slamming her face he is hitting hard in her face you know you will see Muslims saying that a Muslim man should not uh, is not allowed to beat his wife in her face even but look at this case this is why the surah came down the reason of this surah so the, the woman she is complaining to the prophet about her husband boxing her face and she is asking for justice then the prophet he said okay justice then Allah right away guys sound like Allah is waiting in the front of the door of Muhammad and Allah right away he sent down a surah saying the men they are in uh, control of women or the, the, the men they are the maintainers or protectors of women so he's shutting the mouth of this woman from complaining and she came back without qasas which means without punishment for her husband which means the prophet he approved what he did and he did not punish him because the surah gave him the right to do so the surah gave him the right to do so so when Muslim says to you Oh, you can use toothbrush, a stick, uh, you know, this is all is a garbage. And you will hear them a lot saying about miswak. Miswak is a very long route used in Saudi Arabia. And the miswak you see now because it's became very expensive because all Muslims want to buy it and it's very limited as, uh, as how many you can get. Uh, uh, it, it's very small, short piece. But this is not the real size of this route. This roots can go for three, four meters and there are roots exist in the uh, uh, floor in Saudi Arabia so and they, they used to beat the you know the donkeys and the camel with them so imagine you beat a camel with toothbrush you know this doesn't make sense and look at this this is Ibn Kathir the man he beat his wife in her face he is harming her big time otherwise she will not come to the Prophet crying and complaining and she is asking for punishment not complaining only 
she is asking for justice which mean because she was hurt badly she came and she walked for long distance to come to the house of Muhammad maybe he can do something to her husband who did beat her in her face and almost he break her uh, face but Muhammad he did not do anything instead on, on, on top of that he she came back and she have a surah to support her husband to beat her again because after this surah you know no woman she can complain from her husband beating her when a woman she start complaining the man he will say shut up Allah say to me I can beat you this is really scary any woman wanna get beating convert to Islam